Today in this episode of the Battle of Hilly we are going to talk about the contributions of the 22 Maratha Light Infantry under the command of Lieutenant Colonel B R Swaminathan the 22 Maratha Light Infantry was a part of the 202 Infantry Brigade under the 20th Mountain Division the same division that had commanded the 8 guards in the battle of hilly it was the 8 guards that had launched their first assault on the pakistani defenses at morapara the 22nd maratha light infantry moved there on the 25th of november evening after the 8 guards had secured their base a firm base at morapara the 22nd maratha light infantry had four companies a company b commanded by major im sharma b company b commanded by major dadkar c company b commanded by major chandrashekhar and d company commanded by major patil and captain suresh murthy was the regimental medical officer b company was tasked to move towards the east while a company was tasked to move towards the north a platoon of b company under the command of lieutenant tombik moved 500 yards ahead of the main defenses of b company to see what's up there the pakistanis were lurking in that area though they had been defeated they were still in nearby and they were still waiting for a perfect time to launch a counter attack the 22 maratha light infantry was dug in but it was just two companies as of now C and D companies were not here yet though the 25th of november the entire night was pretty much uneventful but disaster struck the 22nd maratha light infantry on the dawn of the 26th of november just ahead of the defenses of B company was lieutenant tombi he was just 500 yards away but at the meantime from B company a jco named as naib subedar ismail he moved up forward to check what's happening unfortunately he stepped on a landmine and lost his leg major dadkar alongside a platoon of his men went to retrieve him and that is when the pakistanis from somewhere they had just popped up and they just opened fire on major dadkar unfortunately to get out to get naib subedar ismail out from the area Major Tatkar was shot dead. He died there, and he received the Veer Chakra posthumously. Soon, it was found that a Pakistani 50 caliber machine gun was raining down hell on these men. Hence, it was decided that Naib Subeda Shivram, with a platoon or a section under him, they had an RCL gun. Lieutenant Colonel B R Swaminathan himself ordered him to take out that gun. He moved up with his RCL gun, took a position pretty close nearby, and shot that machine gun crew to bits. That entire machine gun crew and that machine gun went up flying sky high. Lieutenant Tombik's position was attacked. He faced the brunt of the assault. Meanwhile with B company facing an attack A company was not being spared as well yet major sharma moved up to get out naib subedar ismail from that heavy area of fire he was still there he was still bleeding on that battlefield and he was finally evacuated under the cover of smoke screen and for this action in the fighting lieutenant tombi received the mention in dispatches Eventually the Pakistani counter attacks were beaten out. Yes, definitely of course. They didn't know who they were facing. And C and D companies from the 22 MLI did join up. Finally, Lieutenant Colonel Swaminathan decided to send ambush parties to hunt down any Pakistanis still who might be lurking in that area. A JCO a jco led us and led a search party i i guess it was an ambush party as well he led that ambush party and he found 10 pakistani soldiers they were in hiding they ambushed the hell out of those pakistanis and killed all 10 of them 
he was hyped together with Jamil Ahmed and he got the Sena medal for such a wonderful ambush. Unfortunately, a captain from A company was injured. This led to a deficit of officers to command A and B companies. This started to worry the CEO of the 22 Maratha Light Infantry. And they soon received orders to dug in till the 6th of December 1971. They had to stay put because the second battle of Hili was about to commence. Thank you for listening.